So far in this chapter we've looked at the different parts of the select statement and how to make them more efficient. We've looked at comparisons and how to make them more efficient or which comparisons are the most efficient. The same applies to joins and I listed some other factors. Now let's look quickly at other factors causing possible SQL code performance issues. First of all, synonyms. Synonyms are one of those things that allow for easy application development and easy access to objects. They make things neater. The problem is, is that later on you can end up with too much metadata, exactly as it says on the screen. In other words, if you have an application with 200 tables and you create 200 synonyms on all those tables so that different users can access those tables inside your schema username. Effectively you have 400 database objects. And in addition to that, particularly with synonyms, you'd have to have privilege grants on all the tables to all the different users. So if you can understand what you're actually ending up with is an exponential increase in the number of objects in metadata as soon as you start using things like synonyms. Nice and easy for application development. The problem is all that stuff goes in the shared pool and eventually the shared pool is going to run out of space. So what do you do? You go and increase the size of the shared pool. Ultimately, when the shared pool gets too big, it's too difficult to manage. So be aware of sacrificing database performance somewhere down the road, generally in the future where you're not going to be aware of it, you're going to sacrifice that database performance because you're trying to make your application development process easier by using things like synonyms. There are other things that you can also do to make application development easier, which we'll get to, which generally cause the same problems. It's a toss-up between deciding on easy application development and performance problems down the road. Obviously, the faster you develop an application, the less money it costs. However, in the future, you may have some serious performance issues, and you may have to hire some very expensive consulting DBAs to help you fix your problems. Or, obviously, on the other hand, the life cycle of your project may not actually be that long. So basically your decision is based on how long your application is expected to last, how much money you have, etc, etc. Synonyms in some ways can actually create complexity rather than resolve it because you end up with too many objects to manage. Views cause the same problems as synonyms simply because you're creating more metadata and creating more complexity for the database to manage. Views have an additional issue where you need to avoid filtering. Quite often what happens is views are created for easy application development and then various developers will go into those views, execute queries on them and place things like filtering where clauses on those views. The problem is, is that the view whenever accessed will always execute the query contained within it. So if a developer creates a query that says, OK, go and select from the view and filter out 10 rows from 1 million, the underlying query in the view is still going to select 1 million rows. And then the developer is going to select 10 rows from the 1 million already read from the database. So effectively, you're still reading the 1 million row table. And obviously, you have the same issues that you have with synonyms, because you're simply creating too much metadata, too much complexity. It's easy application development, however, be aware of sacrificing potential serious database performance problems down the road when making your application development cycle easier, shorter, and cheaper.